Mansion Native Survival, my little girl Sophie, just out here collecting some maple sap for the 2014 harvest. Stay tuned. I'm going to put my hand warm in there. <laughs> it's one, two, three, four. You're right. So several of these trees, thank you my friend, for giving some of your sap. Several of them have given me quite a bit of sap. Nearly all of these trees have a half gallon filled on them of sap. I've already come out here several times and harvested. I have quite a few gallons already at home. Those are called princess pines. And there's another one right there. And I'll leave these on probably for another day or two before I take them off. Um, I'm supposed to get uh, four inches of snow tonight, so we're gonna get a little dusting. So the trees might slow down their sap for a couple days. And when it starts warming up again, because we're still at 10, 20 degrees, <clears throat> and obviously below freezing at night, um, when it, when it starts to warm up again, they'll start producing sap again. So I think the trees are going to slow down for a little bit. And they'll start producing some more sap probably next week. <clears throat> so I'm going to give these a few more days. And then I'm going to let the trees have the rest of the sap. I don't like taking um, sap from them the whole time. Daddy. You know, I think it's like a, uh, a sharing situation, not a taking situation. still in freezing temps right now. But that's okay. Yep, so I'm going to pour off what I can and I'll leave the rest so that way it doesn't get too full and too heavy for the tree for my rope. Because when it gets real heavy it can it can uh, pull on the rope and it might slide down a little bit and then the drips might miss. So I, I, I like to remove some when I can. And if I do it during the day then some of it is melted. That tree just dripped so I, I just wasted that drip. Yeah, oh, it just dripped again, so I'm going to go fast and pour this in. I just missed two drips. Yeah, I don't like missing any drips at all. Why? Because it's very disrespectful to the tree. It's giving it sap. For me to just let it drip on the ground is just a terrible thing to do.
That one's moving? Yeah, why? It's not perfectly balanced. It wiggles a little bit. Sure. <laughs> I see. Do you need help? Yeah, I like rock. You're a very good rock climber. I love rock climbing too. Oh, you're welcome for the help. Huh? I said you're welcome for the help. I enjoyed helping you. If you lower your center of gravity, it'll be easier if you use your hands, too. There you go, little one. Now she's starting to get it. Now she's starting to get it. <laughs> oh, I couldn't be more proud. That one wiggles, huh?
I'm watch I'm watching. Okay. okay, I'll start the rest of it if oh. I need help on the, on the moving ones, you'll tell me. Okay. Okay. I'll start not the moving ones. Trees were very good to me this year. This is full. This one's not. Two, four, six, eight, nine full gallons and a half. Eight trees, nine and a half gallons. They were very good to me this year. So that's the harvest I was given by the trees this year. Eight trees, nine and a half gallons. That's my maple harvest of 2014. Now all we gotta do is make some syrup. <laughs> Thanks for your time. See you in the next one. Take care.